In this video, we're going to continue with the advanced control flow and we will learn about the nested loops. So what are nested loops? Nested loops are simply a loop inside loop for specific uh, targets and specific goal. What are these goals? Imagine that despite making a loop that prints uh, like these numbers from 1 to uh, to 10 you need to print a table like like this from 1 to 3 and 4 I need to print this and again I need to print 1, 2, 3 and 4. I need to print this table and I will copy, paste, paste, paste. Okay, I need to print this table for specific reasons. Okay. How to do that? I will not create a loop here and then a loop here and then a loop here and then a loop here to loop through these numbers. I will create one loop inside it. There is another loop that will take care about these uh, conditions. So, first of all, I need to clarify a very important thing. So let's analyze this example. In the ordinary looping, in the one loop, in one iteration, we are going using the i. So i index will go through one. It is increased to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. So we have used the index i. So the index and this iteration have been increased one time every loop okay in here we have a different scenario if we need to print this table okay if we need to print this table we need to start and segment our table into two things the columns and the rows okay these are the rows and these are the columns there is a very important step that think about the rows as a ordinary iteration like this so for that i need to use i so i will loop through the rows okay think about this so i will loop through the rows i for rows how many rows i need i need to make four rows so i will be from zero to three okay now how to print the column i need to make a loop and think about a nested loop another loop inside the loop so every row the same is repeated so i need to make a loop every time would be executed and make this list as a row so it will continue one two three and four okay so it will loop through the uh, four numbers okay so here i will create it as j so j is in blue i will make j here so j will be equal and loop through zero to three because three is included so 
0, 1, 2, and 3. Every time i is increased, j will be printing the same thing into the table. Okay? So when we move from, if when we move one row, a column will be executed. So a loop will be executed till the end. So when the second loop ends, we go to the first loop and make this. This, think about it as a big loop. Inside it, there is another loop. So this is the outer loop, outer loop. And this is the inner loop, okay? This is the inner loop. Now, despite using these theoretical things, let's go to the code and see how this works. So we need to print this table inside the nested loops. So I will create a for loop. This is the outer loop and I will name the constant as a row. So in zero till three, as I told you, okay? Because I need the th four rows, I can start one to four, okay? But the index in uh, Kotlin and other languages like Java starts from zero, okay? This is better. So zero, one, two, and three. These are the rows. Inside the rows uh, loop, I need to create a for loop, another for loop, and make a constant here called column. So this will represent the column in range is also from zero to three. Okay. Okay, guys. It's very simple. Now I will create here. I will print like stars. First of all, I will print stars and then I will uh, show you what, how to replace the stars and asterisk with the numbers. Let's run and see. Okay, I need to print LN here. Let's run again and see. And here we go, guys. We have a box of four rows and four columns printing the stars. How this works? It starts from the outer loop and still executing. Okay. Row is equal to zero now. Four column, it starts with this four. When it ends from this four, it will print a new line and Again, it will go up and check for the condition. We go through this inside, uh, through this uh, nested loop, and we see that the inside the inner loop, there is a for loop telling us there is a constant called column, and its range is between zero and three. So what we will do, it will print a star. So it printed a star, okay? Again, it, it will go and print another star, three and four. Four stars are printed, so we have finished from this for loop. It will execute a print line, and this is what happened. We have printed one, two, three, and four uh, stars, and we go to another line by print ln. Now we need to print again, going up, it checks rows now equal to one because it is increased by one. This is Kotlin, how Kotlin algorithm, and we have learned it before in the loops, that the, inside the for loop, it will increment by one unless you put here step two or step three or step whatever you want. But if you don't specify the step, the step would be one directly. Okay, so 
row is now one. One is between this range one, yes, between zero and three, so continue. Now go and print again four stars and print a new line uh, uh, when you finish, okay? Printing four stars and then printing a new line when you finish. I is now equal to two or row is equal to two. It is between zero and three, yes. So go and print four, four stars and print a new line. So four stars and print new line. Again, it's, go, uh, it's going up. So row is a three. It's three, a three is between zero and four, a three. Yes, it is inside it because a three is included and inclusively included when using the range, the two points. This is the closed range that we have learned in the ranges lesson. Printing again the for loop, which is the four stars here and printing a new line. Going up, row is now equal to four. Four is not between zero and three, so stop executing this for loop and uh, and by a uh, and uh, and uh, occasionally this is stopped with a program and printing four rows and four columns. This is how nested loops works in Kotlin. Now. We need to make this table uh, like accurate and uh, the same way that is uh, printed. So how to make this? I will make a um, sum equal to zero. So after we have learned about the nested loops and uh, how, how they think and how they work. So I will create a variable called sum. The sum, let me check, okay, and there is no, nothing above. Okay, so for zero and three, we will remove the print here and I will make sum equal, plus equal to row times call uh, or uh, to, to column sum or maybe I will not make this for at first time. Let me uh, keep it for uh, the next exercise. I will print the multiplication uh, table, but till now I need to display this. So I need to print the columns, print column. Okay, printing the column. You can specify it with like this. And let me run and see. And here we go, guys. We have created it. Now, if we need to change the, the zeros and start from one, we just make this range because we are printing the column variable. So I need to change the column variable. And here we go we have this box, one, two, three, four, and four columns, four rows, okay? So this is about the nested loops. In the next video, we are going to make an example about the multiplication, uh, multiplication table, and then we will uh, learn about the continue keyword.